Number 10, Caveman Flutists. It's believed that early humans spent a lot of their time sitting around the fire, bashing rocks together and grunting like cavemen. But according to new archaeological evidence, early modern humans were also busy mastering the creation of musical instruments. One of the first ever instruments has just been found, and it dates back 40,000 years. Can you guess what kind of instrument it was? It was a flute, crafted from mammoth ivory. It turns out the cavemen actually sat around the fire and enjoyed music, just like we do today. It appears that human beings have been creative ever since we figured out how to punch holes in hollow pipes of bone. But here's where things get even more interesting. The old mammoth ivory flutes were discovered in the same European cave system in which the oldest known example of art representing a human was discovered, dating back around 35,000 years. With all this evidence combined, it appears that this particular branch of human was incredibly advanced when it came to sharing songs, being innovative with music, and boasting artistic creativity. This is known as the Aurignacian culture, and they predate almost every other type of human living from Italy to France and England. Number 9. Ancient Fruitcake in Antarctica This next artifact isn't exactly mysterious as for what it is, but for how long it has remained fresh. Basically, scientists have discovered the oldest fruitcake ever. Yeah, a fruitcake. It's common knowledge that fruitcakes stay crisp for a pretty long time, but conservators in Antarctica have come upon a fruitcake that lasted for quite a bit longer than expected. In one of the very first buildings ever constructed, then abandoned in Antarctica, way back in 1899 by a Norwegian team and later used again in 1910 during the Terra Nova expedition of the famous explorer Robert Falcon Scott, researchers found a piece of cake 106 years old. According to the Antarctic Heritage Trust, it was even documented that Scott took this exact brand of fruitcake with him on the expedition. It looks like the cake got left behind, nobody wanted to eat it, and it sat in the abandoned structure for over a hundred years until it was just recently discovered. But here's the really amazing part. The cake itself is actually so well preserved that it's almost edible. Of course, this is thanks to the cold Antarctic weather, but it's still pretty impressive. The cake was part of over 1,500 other artifacts, all collected from the two ancient huts at Cape Adair in Antarctica. Number 8. Ancient Tattoos An ancient tattooing tool has recently been discovered in North America, and so far as we know, it could be the oldest tattooing artifact ever found on the continent. What's really crazy is that the tool was just recently found sitting inside of an old box inside of museum storage. An anthropology PhD candidate at Washington State University stumbled upon the instrument completely by accident. It happened while he was taking inventory of the different artifacts at the university. According to Washington State themselves, his find has great significance, as it could help researchers to understand what role tattoos played in the indigenous cultures of North America. We know almost nothing about the tattooing practices of prehistoric people throughout Native American cultures. What archaeologists do know is that tattooing was more rampant thousands of years ago than it is today, especially for religious groups and wealthier individuals who covered themselves in tattoos to show off their abundance. However, the big issue here is that ink is not generally preserved even in mummified bodies. For example, the oldest figurative tattoos were recently discovered on Egyptian mummies that were 5,000 years old, according to the Journal of Archaeological Science. But this is very rare. As of today, not a single tattoo has been found on any preserved human body throughout the United States. And that's what makes the discovery of the tattooing artifact so amazing. Hey, before we continue, I want to say thanks for checking out the channel. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. Russell Cave National Monument Artifacts one of the lesser-known archaeological sites in North America is the Russell Cave National Monument, which is about an hour away from Chattanooga and just west of Bridgeport in Alabama. Russell Cave was carved into the earth by underground erosion and is the oldest rock shelter to be regularly inhabited in the eastern United States. As far as we know, the cave had been used by humans for thousands and thousands of years. 
Some of the most amazing artifacts discovered in this cave system include spear points used by ancient Native Americans for hunting giant sloths, mastodons, and even large bison. But that's not all. There have also been stone tools discovered that scientists believe were used in farming techniques within the last thousand years. As for the cave itself, it probably sheltered between 15 and 30 people at a time, making them literal cave people. In addition to the stone tools, archaeologists also found leftover charcoal from fires, animal bones, shards of pottery, and even the remains of a couple of humans. This is definitely one of the most mysterious and often overlooked archaeological wonders in the United States. And if you ever get a chance, you should definitely check it out. Number 6. The Reindeer Stick Artifact The swimming reindeer is a mysterious artifact carved from the tip of a mammoth tusk. It was first discovered in the mountains in the south of France in 1866 by a French engineer named Picadou de Lille. He found it in two pieces, which when put together depict a female reindeer being followed by a larger male reindeer. What's really interesting though is that it wasn't until the early 20th century that the two pieces were actually put together to create the one single piece. And because of the material it's created from, it's generally believed that it came from the time of the last ice age. What makes it so mysterious is that nobody's really sure what it was used for. There are notches along one side, which some people have theorized were used by hunters to mark how many reindeers they killed during a hunt, or even how many seasons of hunting they survived. Of course, the most amazing part of the figure is just knowing that our ancient ancestors carved it from the tusk of a dead mammoth, and that they were living alongside such magnificent beasts before their extinction. It's currently sitting in the British Museum and is one of the oldest and most intricate works of art that has ever been found. Number 5. The Lion Man The Lion Man is yet another mysterious artifact from our ancient ancestors from about 40,000 years ago. The Lion Man is considered a sculpted masterpiece of great originality, huge technical skill, and unbelievable imagination. As with most surviving artifacts from before the Ice Age, the Lion Man was crafted from mammoth ivory. It's only a few inches tall, and it depicts a hybrid creature with the body of a human and the head of a cave lion. Judging by the incredible artistic detail, this cat-human hybrid was meant to be powerful and mysterious, and from a world beyond anything found in nature. According to the British Museum, this is the first known representation of a being that does not exist in the physical world, and it could be the first real leap that our ancestors made from the world of the living to the world of the supernatural. The Lion Man was first discovered in a cave in the south of Germany back in 1939, and scientists know, by the erosion on its body, that it was probably passed around from person to person as part of a ritual. But of course, we don't know what kind of ritual it was. The ancient humans may have used the Lion Man as a sort of talisman, or even as a kind of good luck charm before going out to hunt. It could also have been some kind of god created by telling stories and creating myths of their own. Unfortunately, we will probably never know the stories that were told around the fire about the Lion Man 40,000 years ago. Number 4. The Lom Kui Stone Tools the artifacts we're about to discuss are so ancient that they were created before humans had even evolved. This revelation comes from the Lomakui 3 excavation site in Kenya. Researchers recently discovered tools carved out of rock that date back 3.3 million years ago. The analysis of these stone tools was recently published in the journal Nature. They were found inside of a dried up riverbed and consisted of hammers and some cutting instruments. These tools predated anything else ever discovered by at least 700,000 years. Scientists believe humans weren't around back then, and so the ones responsible for building these tools must be distant members of the Homo genus. What's truly fascinating is that, up until now, the earliest evidence of stone tools came from a site in Ethiopia, and they were dated at being 2.6 million years old. And these tools were created by an early human ancestor known as Homo habilis. These newer tools are a bit of a mystery, as we simply don't know which exact genus created them. The scientists involved in the study believed that the tools were used for cracking open nuts and possibly for cutting meat. So far, this is the oldest proof of a human-like rise from our ancestors, using tools to help prepare food in the savannas of Africa. 
Number 3. The Venus of Hula Fells The Venus of Hula Fells was discovered deep inside of a cave in Germany in 2008, and it dates back to the Paleolithic period, about 30,000 years ago. The mysterious figurine depicts a woman, and would have been made by the first true humans known as Cro-Magnon, those same humans that carved the bone flutes and the Lion Man. But the Venus figurine is interesting, because there have been several different versions found all throughout Europe. The one that we're talking about now is the oldest, but there have definitely been quite a few womanly figures found dating back to around the same time. It has been estimated that it took hundreds of hours to carve this lady out of Stone Age ivory. But what's even more interesting is that the figurine has no head. Instead, there's a small ring above her chest that would have allowed someone to wear it as an amulet. According to one of the leading researchers involved with the figurine's discovery, it was likely a symbol of fertility, and perhaps an offshoot of one of the very first religious practices involving fertility goddesses and lion gods. Number 2. Proof of the Bible An ancient artifact was recently discovered that could support parts of what was written in the Bible. In the old city of Jerusalem, after five long years of digging near the western wall, a clay seal was found. The seal dates back 2,700 years, and it may have once belonged to an important city governor. According to Israeli archaeologists, the seal was inscribed in ancient Hebrew saying, belonging to the governor of the city. But wait, you're probably wondering what that has to do with the Bible. Well, the governors of the ancient city of Jerusalem are mentioned several times in the Bible. Basically, the discovery of this seal confirms that governors did exist in the city all those years ago. Up until now, nobody had known for sure if governors were a thing, but now it turns out they probably were. The reason this is so mysterious and revolutionary is that it proves that the Bible was speaking on real things happening over 2,500 years ago. Some are hailing it as proof that every word of the book is true, and others are saying it's just a convenient coincidence. What do you think? Number 1. Ancient Hunting Weapons some very cool weapons used for hunting have recently emerged thanks to ice melting in Norway. Scientists have been scrambling to collect as many ancient artifacts as possible from our medieval ancestors. One of the newest treasures discovered has to do with the tools that the ancient people used to hunt reindeer in the region. Archaeologists have collected over 2,000 artifacts previously trapped in the ice. Most of these were discovered between 2006 and 2015 thanks to researchers and archaeologists from the Glacier Archaeology Program. The oldest artifacts found were about 6,000 years old, and these included the ancient arrows and spears used for hunting reindeer. But there were some newer artifacts too, such as the shoe from 1300 BC. There was even a pair of wooden skis that dated back to the year 700, with the newest artifacts being a walking stick carved with ancient Nordic ruins that dates back as recently as the 11th century AD. What's your favorite ancient artifact? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for the latest in archaeology.